I will talk about the alpha, beta, gamma, and delta hydride eliminations today. Uh, let's look at this structure first. This M is bonded to CH2, 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 and CH3 here. And this M is taking a hydrogen from the delta carbon and form a five-membered ring structure. This is called delta H elimination. And it, it's also possible for this uh, M to get a hydrogen from the gamma carbon and form a four-membered ring structure. Also, it's possible for this M to uh, eliminate a hydrogen on this uh, beta carbon and form a three-member structure. And uh, it's possible for M to get a hydrogen on the alpha carbon as well. In this case, uh, it forms a MH bond and a double uh, bond between this M and CH2. You may also view this as a two-membered ring. So uh, when M gets a hydrogen on the alpha carbon, beta carbon, gamma carbon not showing here, or delta carbon, um, it forms a two-membered ring, three-member ring, again, four-member ring not being shown here, and five-member ring here. And if you look at the structure on the left-hand side, the oxidation number of M is one. If you look at the structure on the right-hand side, the oxidation number of the transition metal is three. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Uh, again, uh, I'm not showing the gamma hydrogen illumination here, but uh, the product of gamma hydrogen illumination is a four-membered structure.